So this is a uh, how-to um, with the app Sora. The easiest thing to do is if you're on a desktop, uh, you can also do this from a phone, uh, mobile device, tablet, um, but is to just Google Sora um, or uh, on your Google Play Store or iTunes, or sorry, Apple Store, you can um, download the Sora app. Uh, this is going to be mainly how to use it on the computer, um, just because uh, that's the easiest to set up. So I have looked up Sora. Um, the actual website is soraapp.com. When you get there, um, you'll see hopefully some sort of interface like this. Now, if you have, I've already used this before, so it knows I'm coming from New York City Public Schools, but it might just be blank for you. Um, an easy way to access New York City Public Schools is to say, I have a setup code right down here, and to click on continue. The setup code is NYC schools, all lowercase. And when you click on continue, you'll see that it will prompt you to sign in with your New York City Public School credentials. So that is your DOE username and your DOE login. If you do not know those, you need to make sure you ask uh, whoever manages those accounts at your school, particularly the password, because um, it can only be reset by an administrator at your school. Um, I have a list of everyone's DOE usernames, um, but I do not have access to reset the passwords, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, so, it will ask you to log in with your DOE login. I'm actually technically already logged in on my DOE login, so that's why it moved so quickly. A few things to explore here. This is the home screen. Um, so on the home screen, it'll tell you what you're currently reading. Um, you can do audiobooks and eBooks. It will also have recommendations for things that you might enjoy. The explore page is where you're actually going to search the most. Um, so there are preset collections. So if you did not know, there is a, an enormous collection, 2, 000, over 2,000 books of Japanese culture and manga, animation and illustration. Everyone's um, about page may look slightly different depending on what grade level you're at. Um, but this is a great place to start if you're just browsing. This is kind of like walking around the shelves of a library. But if you have a specific book you're looking for, you can also press the search button up here and you can type in the title of the book. So for example, um, you can see that books are available both um, most often in ebook form and in audiobook form. Uh, sometimes a book is not available, so you'll see the difference between a book that's not available where it will say place hold versus borrow. If you'd like to preview the book before you make a decision, you can just click on it and when you click on the book, it'll tell you how many copies are available, it will tell you, it will ask if you want to read a sample, you could add it to a list, it will tell you what are the subtopics that it falls under. And you can also um, see if it's available as an audiobook. Um, if you decide you want to place a hold, all you have to do is click on place hold and it will put you in the queue. Um, if you, for example, see a book that's ready to borrow, you can click on borrow and that book is now in your bookshelf uh, and you're able to read it. You can click, this is a picture book, so this is kind of what it looks like. You pick, click in the center of the page. Um, you can also access the table of contents. There's a zoom feature up here. There's, you can change the way the text appears. Uh, this is searching within the book and you can also place a bookmark. When you're done with a book, uh, you will always want to return the book, but it also will tell you, oh, this book is due in 27 days. But if you just want to return it early, that's always a nice gesture because someone could be waiting for it. And this is a, you know, a really good thing to do. Like I'm going to return this one because I actually finished it. Um, this bookshelf is where you will see your hold. So these are all the books that I've got on hold. Um, here are lists, um, so if you know, you're following any lists, and this is the history of books that you have checked out. 
Another feature is um, it has these achievements. So it'll tell you like how many books you've opened, how much time you spent. So especially if you're home in the summer and your parents are saying you can't play video games until you've read a certain number of books or a certain number of hours. It's a great way to just um, show them what you've been doing. And then there are these little badges that are like little, um, you know, kind of achievements, almost like a, a video game that you can also earn along the way. A great thing also is that you can actually add libraries. So if you are a part of a, another library, I would encourage you to add as many as you can. Um, all New York City school students can get a Brooklyn Public, a New York Public, and a Queens Public Library card for free. You just have to go to their individual websites. You can access those at Seward Park. Uh, campuslibrary.org and all you would do is to add a library you click on add library you find the library so say you were doing Brooklyn you will need um, your barcode and your pin um, so you can search right and this will basically now search the entire collection there um, but when you go to check out it will say um, please enter your barcode and your pin i'm already logged in with my library so it's not I, the borrow feature is actually um, all set to go but the really nice thing about the um, adding libraries i'm going to go back to the new york city public schools one is that when i do a search for a book it will search all of the libraries. So for example, here's a book I really wanna read. I see that it's on hold at both, um, both the ebook and the audiobook in New York City Public Schools. But if I scroll down, it's available through the Hudson Valley. That's another library I belong to. I can also scan the Brooklyn Public Library, the New York Public Library, and the Queens Public Library. So it just expands your options, especially if it's a hot topic. Um, Additionally, there are filters. These filters will tell you, like, if you only are looking for comic and graphic books, or if you're as a, a specific format, or you notice there are picture books coming up a lot. If you don't want picture books, you can say, I'm only looking for young adult, or I'm only, uh, unfortunately, a general adult will not be available to you on your DOE login because, um, you are you still have student accounts so young adult is the highest um, that you can go um, I think that's more or less all that you need to know to get started um, but if you have any questions you can always ask and I am available at mleisure at schools.nyc.gov thank you